today we will be looking at a classic old school graffiti piece for inspiration. When you are learning, it's okay to borrow ideas from other people to help develop your own style. However, you must never copy another person's work directly and pass it off as your own. This is called biting and is frowned upon. So please do follow this tutorial and complete the drawing, but later on, go ahead and change it up. Develop what you have learned into something fresh that you can call your own. Today's piece is by a writer called Sek. It can be found on page 36 in the classic book from the platform Subway Graffiti. Sek remarks in the book that this was the first piece he painted on a subway train, but ironically it was also the very last time he used the name Sek. He then went on to use the name Vet and progressed to a whole different level. For this video, we will be creating a piece using the block letters from the previous tutorials then modify it using the wavy outlines, colour schemes and designs from this piece by Sec. So without further ado, let's get, let's on, with get on with it. What up, this is Slaz, doing another tutorial today based on the Sec piece. So get your materials together, get your alphabet sheet. We're going to be doing another block letter piece using those square letters. So just like the other video, make yourself a rectangle, split it into four, choose a word four letter word, not a rude one. These lines I'm putting across here are useful guides so when you're constructing your letters you can try and make bits of the letters line up with those lines. It just keeps it all straight and uniform. Which is important on this one especially because the lines are going to be kind of wavy so just make sure that the structure is right to begin with. So once you're happy with the way your letters are looking Go around it with the black felt tip pen with a fine point. Put lots of waves in. Try and keep those waves about the same size as you go around. It's entirely up to you how you do it. As you can see on the original set piece there, the waves on sex one is actually quite a lot. There's fewer of them, there's fewer waves. But you know, if you come up with your own style that's that's what you want to be doing so like even though we're doing a tribute piece to set you still want to try and bring your own sort of style to it in 3d I just thought I'd go the other way so I'm gonna go diagonally down to the right but instead of drawing it in with a ruler this time I'm going around it like this put a little bit in at a time keep it the same distance from the letter line but just means you I find it easier this way to keep the 3d the same shape as the letter you see I'm taking a few little shortcuts there it's just a suggestion do it however you feel once you've got your 3d and you're happy with it go around it with the felt tip pen take the time as long as they're kind of roughly the same distance from the letters and going in the same direction you should be good then colour it in. Obviously I'm going to fast forward this bit because it takes a little while to do in real time. So there you go, you're ready to apply colour. So what you want to be doing, getting your, um, your two greens and yellow. And to blend them together you make them overlap. It's difficult with felt pens because they tear up the page. A line in where you want the green and yellow to meet. About halfway is good. I've gone just under. I started colouring in here, but I forgot I needed to put in my red designs. Uh, yeah, just literally just circles. I mean, again, you can use different shapes if you like. I'm kind of going with what Sec was doing, just to stay kind of faithful to the original but still put a little spin on it and now when you're colouring it in what you want to do whenever you get to the red put a little barrier around it like this it just stops the green and the red mixing so if you go over the red with the green the red's going to go like a brown colour Actually, I'm putting some waves in on top of the, uh, the 
the, the, the line where the top of the green is at the moment. Just break it up a bit and also because the lines on the letter form are also wavy so I thought I'd go with it. Next green, go in and overlap it a little bit and then go in with the yellow. I mean to be honest, you probably should draw barriers around the red. I kind of like the way the red and the yellow bleed a little bit, gives it like a nice softer effect but then you can go over red with yellow and it won't actually mess up the red too bad. What you do have to watch out for is just where you're touching the edge of the black letters there, you see that? I didn't put a barrier in, so it's actually pulling some of the black ink into the yellow. So try and avoid doing that. On this bit you can see, even though it's sped up, I've actually put those barriers in. Once you've done that, go around with the red, just put a line around the edge, just basically outline everything. I decided to fill the gaps between the letters, you don't have to, it's just because the L, the way it shapes, there's a big gap there, so I thought it looked better if it was filled in red. Got a few drips and splashes on there, I can set uh, the original piece by sec, and if you feel like you want the red outline to be a bit wider, you know, go around it again. There you go, you're basically finished. Unless you've got a white gel pen, but if you haven't, it's all good. Just stop here, done well. If you've got the white gel pen, carry on. Just putting in some lines on the 3D there, just to sort of show you what direction it's going in. Don't want too many. Quite an old school technique. I don't know who came up with it first. You see it on quite a few of the old pieces from the 80s. And then we're going to put like an edge on the letters just to make them look like they're shining, to make them look like they're reflecting light. So I'm thinking the light is coming from up and right. So all of the letters I'm putting the white pen on the, wherever there's a top or a right bit, I'm putting the white on that. You see what I mean? Finally, we're going to add some shine. It's one of my favorite effects. We only want about two on each letter. There's a nice easy technique for this using the white gel pen. So you make a little center point and do eight lines coming out from that center point, like a compass. You go st start each one from the center. When you go to the center, you actually produce like a little, um, the, the ink pulls up into a little pool and then you just kind of drag it out from the center. And that's basically it. So massive big ups to Seth, who later became Vet, amazing writer. So to give you some examples of how you might want to develop the letters that Seth made, you could, for example, tilt them to one side and then make the 3D go up. Or you could possibly make the wavy letters turn into drips or even have the letters going downwards and tilting in different directions. You could definitely use some of the techniques we've already learned in the earlier tutorials, such as converting the wavy letters from set into cracked stone blocks and then adding the lightning around them. As you can see here, I've even spaced the letters further apart so that the lightning can arc between them. But the key here is just to experiment. Try out as many different techniques as you can, different color schemes, Whatever works for you and makes your art look different from the next person, stand out from the crowd. So there we go. Thank you so much for participating. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and learnt a load from this tutorial. Tune into the next one to build your skills to the next level.